The year is 1990 and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is everywhere. You absolutely cannot escape it and why would you want to? My six-year-old self was 100% invested in the cartoon in the toy line and I lived and breathed this stuff. 1990 saw the release of one of my favorite figures in the line to this day, Wingnut and Screwloose. Making their TMNT debut in the toy line itself, Wingnut and Screwloose were heroic allies for our four TMNT brothers. They hailed from the planet Huanu, which was destroyed by the evil Krang. Following up their debut in the toy line, it was inevitable that they would make their debut in the cartoon as well. They appeared in the 1991 season in episode 123, Zack and the Alien Invaders. However, they were no longer heroes, they were villains. They came to Earth from the planet Flagenon to zombify all of Earth's children. Now being kind of your standard Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure, Wingnut does feature the normal five points of articulation. We've got two swiveling legs, two swiveling arms, and of course his head can rotate. He does, however, if you want to count them, have swiveling wings, so that would maybe, maybe be two more points of articulation. He, of course, features the wacky little screw loose guy. He's a little mosquito. No paint, just molded plastic as the little buddies were, but I really, really dig these. I always enjoyed getting these pack-in guys with the actual figures, although my screw loose does not want to stand up too much anymore. He does come with three total accessories. He's got the grenade. He's got the blaster pistol that can both peg into his wings and he has his belt with all bunch of wacky stuff on it. He's got a pouch, he's got some bat wings, and he's got a humongous, humongous batch of dynamite there ready to go. So how could you not love this figure as a kid? He has a huge pot belly that is ripping through his uh, uniform there with a big W on the chest. He just looks gruesome. He looks nasty. He's got those veiny ears. Everything about this figure is sculpted really well. That's just the trademark look for a vintage TMNT figure is that when you go back and look at them, they look so much more detailed than you probably realized as a kid. But Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures were just sculpted to the gills, really. And I think this is a great example of the goofy and wacky looks that Playmates sculpted into these figures. So while Wingnut may not be the rarest or most expensive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure out there, he is undoubtedly my favorite for reasons I may never fully understand. However, he is a pot-bellied man bat with mechanical wings, and that might be enough on its own. So that is going to do it for this look at the vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Wingnut and Screwloose figures from Playmates Toys. Be sure to come back for more vintage lookbacks, and I'll catch you later.